The protests in Nigeria currently now will not end and the reason for this is because of the fact that the government of the day is not taking the people you know seriously. It is only of though that the president addressed the nation yesterday being Sunday 4th of August 2024. But unfortunately he distanced himself from the main core issues and he went ahead to say things that were not necessary at all which many Nigerians are reacting to. And as a result of that, Nigerian youths, you know, the whole Nigerians, as a matter of fact, are not really happy with Mr. President, and many of them have stormed the street today, be Monday, to protest and exercise, you know, their democratic rights, in order to demand for good governance. And one of these is uh, the issue that happened around Karo houses in Abuja, where I covered the situation from that particular, particular place. As protesters, it was reported before I got to that area that there was a little bit of uh, uh, misbehavior from the security agency. But as of the time I got there, the place was quite peaceful. But then, the question was that they were using tear gas to dispatch people away from that access. And I was surprised. Why use of tear gas on the people? And then this, I met this young man who told me exactly what transpired and what led to the using of tear gas by the Nigerian police. Mr. Wachipan, All right. I just came from, I went to Karosite, I'm just coming in. As I came, I saw there's a cloud everywhere, policemen and the soldiers. Oh, well, and then, I started, as, when I reached the, the spot, I started, I perceived where the, the smell of tear gas. I said, it seems there's a, that was here. But now, when I came, I told them that uh, from here to Karisoli, in this place that I see, everywhere is loud. But from here to Kar where, where I'm coming from, there's nothing like that. They said that this place has been like that since morning. So in the morning when I, before I left, it was somehow loud, but uh, as I left, it was a calm, a calm coming down before I left. So coming back to hear that uh, it's that, uh, escalated, I'm surprised to hear it. Was there any form of demonstration within this area? Yes, there was more in the morning before I left. Or was it for any form of uh, violence or just a gyration? No, no, it was just, they were just moving in group and uh, they were chanting. So there was no, not, it, was, it was no violence. As of the time you were here? Yes, as of But when you came back? When I, came, when I left, there was no calmness, there was calmness. Okay. As I came in now, I learned that it was violence. I don't know if it was violent then. Okay. But I just tell people that all the shots are locked. Okay. Yes, that's what I heard. But uh, that, there was any point where you find out from anybody if there was any violence from the protestants that resulted into the throwing of tear gas? Yes, actually I'm not asking about that, but myself I perceive the tear gas. Okay. Yes, I'm All right. Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. After which um, I met this woman who was selling by the roadside and she exercised her frustration as to the reason why the people are still protesting. She demanded that the president should reduce the fuel uh, price as well as make sure that there is food and farmers could return back to their you know, farms to farm in order for us to have sufficient food within our society as well as the level of insecurity and no job employment you know to the youth which is the reason why most of the youth indulge themselves in social biases and keep stealing properties from people yeah. but they watch that thing now uh -huh. Uh -huh. so what actually happened uh, where do you want our, our answer what happened today this thing will happen because of uh, hunger mm. they do process okay because the thing they put us now everybody they die yes temptation if they give woman a man, our children they don't go to school. Hunger, you don't see money to sponsor them for school. See women they they die for because of family. Yeah. Huh? Make it to the good and do say this thing. Life, litter, life, fuel, food, everything make everything come, come down. Because everybody they die, yo. Not be so life you dead before. A Bible price is fifteen thousand naira before. Now it's hundred thousand, ninety eight thousand. I inaugurate. He won't die, yo. I beg, he make it help us, so. Okay. If you know they do some something, no, to go, it's not go better for this world, though. Make no. it reduce. Okay. What you happen? Where they throw the others? Eh? Why, why are they going to them? Because of uh, boys, they, they put uh, fire for a road. Because of the protests that they do. Okay. Now, 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 then they, they steal. Then they steal. They don't get work. Two people don't give them work. Where the boys go to? They don't steal anyhow now. Give them work. Get them boy. So that you go go school, they don't go get 
problem. Was there any point where they steal anybody's property or something around they're here? They're still here on Thursday. They still have set here. And they shots, they break them. Okay. It's too much. Okay. Now, while I was leaving the, the scene, I saw a situation where the Nigerian uh, security agency comprises of the army, the immigration, the uh, uh, the army, is it the immigration based on the uniform? and the police force and many other civil defense and the rest combined together probably a joint tax force were running after you know youths that were standing so you could see that people if people standing in two or three you will see them running after them and begin to flog them a situation which i don't really understand could it be that there was any kind of issue within that vicinity? I was told, just like you heard from the young man initially, who said that, you know, people were gyrating, there was no issue, but then they were trying to burn tires on the road because they were protesting. And the security force decided to use tear gas to disperse them, probably to enable people who don't want to be part of the protest to move peacefully. Yes, it is obvious and it is very good that while protesting, you should be able to allow others to move with their, you know, on with their daily life. It is not that you are protesting then every other person must join the protest or every other person will not make use of uh, the road. And probably that could be the reason why they use the tear gas. But then, is that necessary? Can't you just try a way, you know, to make sure that because using this now will be an issue which may necessitate the uh, uh, protestants to now begin to throw stones and then it will lead to violence. Anyway, if I really make any sense, hit the like button and share this video to reach a larger audience. Thank you for watching.